for um, next weekend at Bolton. Yeah, last little hit out before the race. It's yeah. a big day. So, um, it's not my favourite course, that one, I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm not really taking on it. I'll right. <laughs> crash there a couple of times. It's quite old everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, that descent coming down into the uh, over the bridge. Apparently, it's a lot quicker there. Oh they, oh, they changed it, that's right. They've changed it from what it was. Like, parents, I was speaking to a friend up there and he reckoned it's about 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes quicker than what it has been. Okay, it's so interesting to see what bit they've taken out. You don't got that Hunter's Hill. Right, okay, yes. Uh, and it's two, three laps instead of two. So, yeah. I must admit, some of the road surface there I just hate. No, I hate <laughs> it as well. I think it feels like it's a bit of a lottery as to whether or not you're going to punch it, done it, you know what I mean? Exactly that. Yeah. This has got the tour on. That's what oh, no, yeah. I'll, I'll just look the car the way up here. I'm going to turn it off now. But it looks like it's under a cracking race. Like, uh, Matthew Van Der Poel just attacked. Oh, don't tell me. What are you going to go? Don't tell me. He won't know what happens. He attacked. Like, that was like 16 k's to go. But I don't know what's happened because it was just like talking and I, could, I wasn't really paying too much attention. But I know he attacked on the climb. But I don't know oh, as to whether or not anyone goes with him or if I he holds it off. I just love the way they ride. I mean, that, that crash the other day, though, it was mental, right? Horrible. Yeah, even I saw that. Did you? <laughs> yeah. You're following a decent sport, mate, now. Yeah. <laughs> You've been following as well, have you? Uh, well, you're I not a cyclist. I don't, I don't follow. Fire. No, he's not a cyclist. No. You're not a cyclist, are you? I'm You've just, probably I'm just been getting into it more because all. he's been coming along to some of the races and stuff. Yeah. But um, how'd you get on with the boys at Drag to Zero? All right. Uh, well, I didn't go with Drag to Zero. I went with uh, Harriet Revolver and uh, did it. My, did it, um, and then a guy who he knows who who uh, operates the wind tunnel. Oh, okay. So we did it with him. Still the same but place. Still the Silverstone. Still the Silverstone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was really good. Like. Farms, but I've it. got the. Uh, I had a mono bar on here, but I've like we've taken it off because this position's quicker than what it than what it was. It's amazing. I've been doing a bit of work with Dan and, and some of the others because I'm you know pure triathlete. I'm an old school triathlete, yeah. so um, it's amazing. That's why I do a lot of these TTs. It's amazing the watt saves, right? Yeah. So I've got a Harry's going to adapt the mono bar what I had, yeah. and we've got to make it smaller and then make the angle less of an angle. Yeah. But my hands are like one to half a centimetre higher. Yeah. But this is one centimetre higher, so the angle's less, but the hand position's higher. If you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But this has actually got the you know the Victoria Run flat things. Mm. My dad bought oh, yeah, them. Oh yeah, they're Yeah, my dad's got put them in. So nice. if I do puncture, it should seal it at 40 psi. You know, like a proper, like literally, even if I get like a, mm. something horrible happen, so I gunk. should get through, yeah. Mm. Well, not just the gunk, it's like something that you put in it. And yeah, like it's like a, a foam. You know the pool noodles? It's mm. a bit like one of them. Yeah, but they've yeah. refined them in such a way that they compress under yeah. the pressure of the tyre. So they end up being ever so small, and then until the pressure drops that they expand. I really don't know how they've done that. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but that's what my dad put in anyway, because he told me he's put them in. Mm. But, um, so you can tell you're a triathlete, right? We don't clean our bikes like everyone else does. Everyone turns up with waxed everything, right? Yeah, go check mine out. It's yours waxed everything. We're, we're, we're triathletes, we kind of like, yeah, that'll This do. morning I spent most of my time with some vinyl and a heat yeah. gun yeah. covering up all, I've got the um, missile bars mm. on the front of the Ridley and they're full yeah. of holes. So really? if you don't cover them up, they whistle. Really? You know what I'm getting as well on this? I'm getting the drink bottle. Harry's doing a thing, so the drink bottle will go behind my hands on the next one. Because nice. he reckons, because I'm going like too narrow, like the next position is like quite narrow, mm. um, and the drink bottle will go behind, mm. so it'll fill that up. But then you can put your head down. You well, know, boys, like I've got to shoot. You want yeah. Catch you guys later. I'm sure you'd be behind me somewhere. See you later. See you later. Easy. But it was also quicker if I went like that. I put my hands together. The one thing we didn't test when I went to the wind tunnel was um, my bars weren't set up right. They were actually the left one was on the right side, the right one's on the left, oh, right. and there's a there's a degree of adjustability to tip them in. Alright then guys, at a time trial, um, 50 mile one in England, arse end of nowhere, and uh, this is where the magic happens. You can see village hall there, cars all parked everywhere, and I'll tell you what, if you haven't been to a time trial before, this is where you want to come to see the air, the latest in aerodynamics. Everyone here is like so into it, they've got all the latest positions, all the latest kit. Best, I reckon half the people here are more aero than pro cyclists, like in, uh, in the British time trial scene. But this is where I'll do the last workout, big one before Ironman UK. As I said before, 50 mile time trial and then a run off the bike, uh, getting the car all set up with what I'll use. So, rink on free training shoes, save the carbon for race day when uh, I put Sam Laidlow and Tom Davis in their place. So uh, today I'll just make it a bit harder for myself and uh, use these. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, um, now about to go in there, get my numbers, get changed, and then uh, I'll do a bit of a warm up, 20 minutes or so, and uh, yeah, then we'll crack into it, do the time trial, ride back here, quickly put some shorts and a t-shirt on, and then boom, straight out onto the onto the little quiet country road out there, and I'll do 
three and a bit miles, I'll make it 10K off the bike. So 5K out, 5K back, job done. Um, have a recovery uh, snack and then uh, head back home for tea. It's a late start today, 5.40. Currently it's uh, quarter to five, so I've got 55 minutes before I'm off. Jumble sound here, isn't it? Jumble sound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how quick the other guys are, to be honest, but I should be up there, you know, like, I would hope to, I'm obviously aiming to, um, yeah. but, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm, if I win, that would be awesome, but it's hard to know, because obviously you start at minute intervals, so you don't really know how everyone else is doing around you. Yeah, exactly. Um, how soon after will you know? Oh, Are you trying to well, talk to everyone, or? Um, well, you used to know really quick, before COVID, because they'd have the results up in the headquarters. All right. But now, I'm not actually too sure. <laughs> it's the first one, open one I've done this this year. Um, I guess they'll send an email out, but to be honest, you normally know because everyone uploads it to Strava. Right. Uh, so you look on Strava and you uh, you can see what time they've been posted. Right Although it's like a loop course, you don't know where to look at the Right, see you down there. I run well now. Nothing crazy though. Might just want to try and run a little bit faster than what I'd hope to on race day. Yeah, okay. Just, just like six minute mark. Basically, if I run six minute miles now, I'll be well chuffed. So, quite neat ish. Put these on, I'll be ready. On camera, it makes you feel obliged to bloody do it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have just had a bike time trial and then if I'd have felt good, I could have done a run, couldn't I? And uh, it wouldn't look like, like I was wimping out. Because <laughs> no one would have thought I was doing it. Are you ready yet? Yeah, I'm ready. solid pleased with that let's have a look see what the heart rate was 147 so not too bad 341k pace uh, pretty uh, pretty nice little run off the bike 51 meters of climbing so it's not too bad 
So uh, yeah, last big session anyway. Done and dusted for uh, Ironman UK. So threshold swim in the morning I did. Um, it was six 100s, a 400, twice through, hundreds off 130. First set I averaged 114s and then a 514 for the 400. Second set 113s and then a, um, uh, a 515 for the four. And then for a bit of a laugh, 200 with uh, paddles and fins, just for a bit of, just for a laugh really, and uh, did that in 205. That was quite good fun swimming that quick, um, <laughs> even though I was full of lactate. And then uh, obviously this evening, bike and run, probably didn't really eat enough for the bike because uh, I just felt a bit low on energy, but bank the session, time to make sure I get enough fuel in now, recover, and then uh, all systems go really for Ironman UK. Positives from the time trial wire. That was a quick average speed for the power for me. You know, I've done this course before and I've never gone anywhere near that speed off such low power. So shows that the wind tunnel session I did a few weeks ago has obviously paid dividends. So really pleased with that. And uh, when I feel good, the power will obviously come because I can see from my training that the power's there. So that was good. And then the run, that was pretty smooth. The, the aim really for the run was just to dial into a little bit above Ironman pace, but not get too carried away because a week out, if you push it too hard, even though the temptation's there and you feel good, you're just going to take it away from your next week. So, you know, it's, it's almost a bit hard in a way because you're holding yourself back, but it's all done. So if you, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll get another video out before Ironman UK um, and you can see how my uh, taper's going. But yeah, hope you liked it guys and uh, see you next time.